What's going on everybody? My name is Cody and welcome to Space Engineers tutorial for the Oxygen Collection System. Now I am using the developer version 1.149 I believe it is. So you guys aren't going to be seeing this for a couple of weeks unless you're on the beta program and all that kind of stuff but you know so be prepared for things to be weird. Anyway so what we got going on here is I've already peeled the skin back on a basic version of a oxygen collection system. It's more advanced than basic, but same principle. Anyway, how does the oxygen collection system work and why would you want one? First of all, the why is if you're in a ship that spends part of its time in space and part of its time in atmosphere and you don't want to waste your hydrogen or ice on oxygen, you can just have the hydrogen stored in tanks and then come back to Earth or wherever refill your hydrogen supply or whatever and uh, not waste the weight and size and everything getting into space and leaving space excuse me so you wouldn't even really need your hydrogen engines if you do this right the collection system just uses air vents and oxygen tanks and conveyors and everything to absorb air from the atmosphere so you basically open a window and let fresh air inside now the way this is achieved and actually be stealthy about it is if you put vents like this inside your um, outer skin of your ship and actually make it look more like they're dampeners or something you know when you're coming into atmosphere it would slow your descent and whatnot so what you would do there is just make that so with me I like to put lights and stuff inside mine to show when they're active and the big deal is you set all of your um, collection vents to decompress which means they're going to be sucking air in so when you have um, an LED mod or something it'll tell you if you have oxygen um, it'll say you're leaking which is actually what you want it to do if it's pressurized then that means you sealed it and you did something a little bit off and it's trying to pressurize where it's trying where it shouldn't be trying to pressurize if that makes sense so the plant's not going to lose pressure so you're going to want to suck in through this system. Now each one of these vent, co uh, these airtight doors are meant to act as vent covers. When the system's actually active and the lights are running and everything, these will open letting the air flow into this uh, pipe work and into the tanks. Where then it will also pass through the tanks and pressurize every area of the ship that has a air convection system. So that's a good thing. So right here we have a just a passageway to act as a vent straight into that one. Same thing here. These actually collect uh, via this network right here. So it goes in, bang, goes through, hits that one, goes through this one as well. It channels in, pressurizes this area to where you don't have to worry too much. Uh, you can always extend it if you really want to. And uh, at the end of the day, you got what's, I'd say, two, four, six different air vents sucking all at once. That should fill your tanks up within about a minute, I would say. It would be less than a minute probably for having ten tanks, which would, for a ship that's only about the size of maybe 300, 400 meters, that would be more than enough. But if you want to actually be an oxygen supply vehicle, you can actually have more than that, like economic way to do it. Just have a small reactor charge up batteries and fly into a hangar that needs atmosphere for some reason, so I'm going to have a space station. You can just dump everything in and fill it that way and not waste a single piece of ice. So the way this would work is when you set everything up, you're going to have a timer block. You're going to have all these set on a loop to where when you push the timer block, it automatically fires, turns all this stuff on, opens these vents, turns the lights on, and then makes sure that you're pressurized and everything so you can also set it to where it depressurizes or pressurizes or you can just turn them off and on to save battery life so here's how we do this we go in we set up the tanks set the vent covers we set up all that kind of stuff but we turn the lights on we open the vent covers and then we um, toggle the block on and off that's all it is so you set up all of your um, air vents and then call them OCS vents and then likewise the doors would be vent covers, tanks would be OCS tanks and you want the status lights to say oh we're on, that way even from the bridge you'll be able to uh, 
and I, even in the bridge you'd be able to tell what's going on. So we've already got a button panel down here for demonstration purposes. So here's what it should look like when everything's done. Keep in mind the um, tanks should be on for this. That'll be fine. <coughs> and so we got basically that. And uh, now the ship would be online, fully capable of absorbing atmosphere. As you can see, the passageways are all open. It's able to absorb air at its leisure. It's got this vent going to these uh, two. So at any given moment, you got about two or four uninterrupted uh, areas of uh, suction. So that being said, that's pretty much all you have to do. So anyway guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. If you want more in-depth ways to see how you can do this and how you can plumb it into a system and just completely send air everywhere and be able to discharge it or how to keep the collection system for overloading your airlocks and all that kind of stuff, just be sure to send me a comment in the uh, section below and uh, this will be on my personal um, Steam account, works the shop and all that stuff where you'd see videos uploaded and my YouTube channel. So whichever medium you're on, I welcome you and I hope you subscribe to me and I'll see you guys next time with more update video, um, probably more advanced uh, air control systems or how to do the repulsion field or gravity drives correctly. So anyway guys, that's it for me. You have a good one.